Today we are introducing a new community to you and we have stepped outside of our winter garden area and we went over to Winter Park. Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and I am so excited to present to you not only this gorgeous model home behind me but to introduce you to a new community here in Winter Park a new Meritage Homes community called Hawks Nest this is another beautiful community and this no exception is another beautiful model home now this is a one-story model home 2185 square feet the floor plan is called the Pomelo and it is four bedrooms and three baths. This is a really smart and well-designed single story home. Now it's a model home, so as always, if you're looking for design tips and you wanna get some great ideas of how to decorate your own home, then take some special attention to some of the things that we're gonna point out along the way. But the main thing I want you to focus on is the floor plan, the layout, the flow of the home to see if it works for you and your family. So put yourself in this home as we tour it together. So as soon as you enter in this beautiful home, you have this great foyer and entryway over here. Now right over here to my right, to your left, you're going to have two bedrooms with a full bath. And this is really nice because these homes are kind of, it's almost like they have their own little mini wing over here. So this bedroom is located here at the front of the home, nice size bedroom. One of the things I really like with Meritage floor plans is that they never skimp on the bedroom size, which to me is really important. So thinking of uh, not skimping, you have a nice big large closet. Now it may sound silly, but these are actually a little bit deeper and longer longer than most of the closets that have these double doors. So you have a lot of extra space in there. One of the other things I want to point out to you, because these are typically, with all builders, typically an option, whether they consider it a structural option or whether they consider it a design option, are these extra tall doors. So you'll notice that new construction allows you these really tall ceilings. But one of the things that um, might be standard is the regular door height. So having these tall doors really lifts your eye up in the home, but it might be something you want to add as you go through the building process. Over here you have a nice big bathroom and you'll notice you have two sinks here and again if you're looking for design this is really pretty because I want to point out that this quartz counter here is like white with the little specks of the silver but the cabinets themselves are like um, kind of like an off gray. They're like off white off gray. It's a really beautiful combination. Really nice. And then back over here you have another bedroom as well. Again another nice size bedroom with a nice big closet. And again these two bedrooms kind of have like their own little mini wing. Um, being tucked back over here. If you're looking for design tips, it looks like they did a really cool paint treatment there on that back wall, making it an accent wall. Really lovely. Now, one of the other things that I like about this home is that not only does it have it four bedrooms, but over here is a bedroom with its own private bathroom. So it's more like a suite. So if you've got maybe an older child that lives with you, high school, college, maybe you have an in-law that lives with you or somebody that needs their own space, then back behind me is that bedroom. But before we go there, let's take a look over here is going to be your garage entrance. It is a two-car garage and then you have your drop zone right here. This is really nice as well because if you've noticed we've gone around the corner we've kind of tucked ourselves away so that no one else really gets to see the clutter that might happen to accumulate on that cute little zone. Back over here you have a nice big um, laundry room. You can see you have plenty of room for the washer and dryer. And if you decide to add your cabinets or counter space or if you decide you want to add a utility sink then these are all options that you can include in your home as well. Now back behind me is that suite that I was telling you about. So here would be the door, but over here you have a full bathroom. You have a sink, cabinet, counter, mirror, you have the toilet, and then of course you have the tub with the shower as well. And then of course another nice size bedroom. And here they've got it decorated really sweet with the, the bunk bed, super cute. Love this little room as well. But it's really nice because having that suite is, it's just really nice. It's nice to have that on the first floor as an option. Um, like I said, for either high school kids, college kids, guests, friends, family, or in a lot of cases nowadays, your in-laws or grandparents that need to come live with you. All right, now take a look at this. Again, their floor plans do not disappoint. And this Pomelo floor plan has a great wide open living space and it is beautiful. So much maneuverability here in this floor plan because it is just so open and connected. There's nothing that is kind of separating you. It's defined spaces, but it's also open and connected. It's really kind of the perfect 
perfect situation. Okay, so let's take a look at this kitchen. If you're looking for design, might I suggest exactly what they did here because this is gorgeous. The cabinets, the counters, they have the, um, the base cabinets here that we talked about. They have, actually this is a granite counter here. And then look at this really cool back backsplash. So I get really excited with the backsplash because in my personal opinion, I feel like it's the backsplash that is gonna kind of give you that pop of personality in your home. It's always best when you design your home to kind of stay with some more neutral options. Um, something that's kind of gonna give a broad appeal. Obviously you want to like it because it's your home, but if you think it might not be your forever home, you wanna have something that for resale wise is going to be really nice and neutral. But boy, that backsplash can give you a real good pop of personality. Okay, so beautiful counters and a lot of cabinet and counter space. Now here's something I wanna point out. This right here is what we call the gourmet kitchen option. Okay, a lot of times when you choose the gourmet kitchen option, the difference between gourmet kitchen and your standard kitchen is that over here would be your slide-in oven and you have your microwave above and then over here you would just have more cabinet and more counter space. So in most cases, but not in this one, in most cases if you choose the gourmet kitchen option you're kind of sacrificing that additional counter and cabinet space. But the reason I say you're not sacrificing it in this home is because look what they have right here beside this refrigerator. They still have ample cabinet and counter space so I feel like this is a bonus and it kind of makes up for the fact that you may have potentially lost counter and cabinet space if you chose to do a gourmet kitchen option. So in this case, this is a gorgeous and well-designed kitchen. Okay, so this is your, remember this did not have a formal dining or a formal living room, which again, I think is, um, depending on the way you live your life, I will say most families nowadays prefer to have everything a little bit more casual, open and connected. But this space right here is enormous. So if you need that space to have a table that's going to seat six, eight, 10 people, this space right here is going to easily accommodate those larger family get togethers when you have holiday celebrations or any kind of a special event where you've got extra guests. Okay. Okay, before we hit the master, let's take a quick peek out over here. So one of the things I want to mention is that this is a new community. There are still so much, are so many opportunities here as far as lots, as far as floor plans. This is kind of wide open, guys, and this is definitely a place that you're going to want to put on your, hey, Amy, let's go see it list. So this covered lanai space is beautiful and fantastic. Really, really, really nice. Now let's go back over here and hit this master bedroom real quick. So back over here, you have a huge master bedroom. You have a tray ceiling, and they've also added the four recessed lights up above. Again, really calming if you're looking for color choices. Now back over here is this master bathroom. Master bathroom, you've got two, um, you've got your, your long vanity here with your two sinks. You've got your big seamless shower over to the side. You've got, oh my goodness, it's just beautiful privacy door back over here. You have over here, you've got your linen closet, but let's take a peek at that linen closet because that linen closet is huge. That is much larger than any linen closet I've ever seen. And then back over here, again, closet space does not disappoint. You know, Meritage does a really good job of designing their floor plans to allow you ample room in the bedrooms, gorgeous kitchen and open connected family space, and to make sure that you have a lot of closet space because in Florida, we don't really get to use our attics and we don't have basements. So you know what, congratulations, Meritage, another great community and this is going to be another great hot selling floor plan. If you are interested in this home or getting more information about this community, please call me at 407-848-8042. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you have, then thank you very much. If you haven't, think about subscribing. That way you can be updated with all the latest and greatest videos, including more from this community and from this builder. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And just so you know, it's like 85 degrees here in February. Have a great day everybody. Happy house hunting.